What up world, this is The Goal Net, recording live outside of Chicago. And here we are today to talk about the Bauer 2X Pro chest and arm protector. So I've been using this unit on the ice already quite a bit. Um, we'll not be doing a review in today's video. Today's video is a deep dive. If you're not familiar with my video formats already, a deep dive is where I go through an overview of what the chest protector is and what the chest protector is not. And then I save any opinion-based information um, in the form of a review. So I do do two separate videos per product. And this is kind of an interesting unit for me because when I saw the One X come out a few years ago, that thing just seemed like a tank. And I was very excited to take a look at that chest protector um, and never got past trying it on in the local pure hockey shops and whatnot. However, some of the feedback I got is that it didn't quite loosen up that much over time and trying it on, I did find it to be a bit stiff, but I just interpreted that to be a tank and I really respected the amount of curve used in it and was really thinking that was probably one of the most high tech and most engineered units on the market. So fast forward, the 2X Pro is something that we first saw actually last fall. There are some pics floating around um, on Instagram accounts like mine, the Goal Net on Instagram, of uh, Jake Ottinger using a 2X Pro in his BU days. And it was kind of hard to tell exactly all of the new features on that chest protector at the time. But fortunately, come this spring, um, I was able to get a chest protector here to demo. And that's what we're going to focus on today. So first things first, this unit has a huge curved sternum plate, um, also known as a heart guard, depending on kind of what terminology you want to use. And that is this piece right here. And if we move back the shoulder floaters, you can see that this extends, you know, that's probably about an inch and a half. Um, so in use, you don't even see that. So that curved protector really goes to double up. So if we think about a lot of shots, you know, maybe hit the goalie square in the floater. You not only have this arrow light uh, floater here, but you have the curve protection. And then past that, you kind of have, which is probably hard to see in the video, but you have standard body blocks um, right here as well. So you essentially, in kind of that high, high impact area, you know, I find like I take a lot of pucks in that area. Um, you've essentially got three layers of protection. Uh, moving on to the floaters, this outside edge here is called free flex. And as you can see, that really gives. So as you go to move your arm with this unit, um, you're not gonna feel yourself getting caught on the floater because this piece is really, really flexible. And then as we look at the floaters themselves, you can see this is not um, you know, a stitched piece of nylon with foam in the middle or uh, air mesh or anything. This is actually Bauer's Aerolite foam. And the skin of this is actually like a glossy molded material. And it's got a printed graphic um, that pretty well matches the 2X Pro pad. And then it's segmented, so it's very, very flexible. Um, so one of the things that may be hard to show in the video, but, you know, this is very flexible in the sense that you can literally roll this piece up like an accordion. Um, but this piece down here, more when you get hit with a puck, it's very, very stiff. Um, so as you can see, very well thought out to have the flexibility up here in the shoulder area we're gonna move. And then down here, we're gonna take pucks and it doesn't really need to move. It's very stiff um, with extra protection. And then that outer edge where the floater does need to move is segmented, um, where it's an entirely different piece to move. So it's just a really, really well thought out design here by Bauer. So Aerolite foam, if you're not familiar with it, that's designed to be a very lightweight, very high impact absorbing foam. Bauer uses that all over the 2X Pro line and as well on the Vapor Protective player gear. Um, and it's also designed to get uh, impact away from the body, I believe. So if we think about that on shoulders, that's fantastic. Puck will come in hit and hopefully the energy dissipates and minimizes the amount of stingers we might get in the shoulder or collarbone area. As we move on, um, we'll kind of stick in the belly area of the chest protector. You can see posted this on Instagram as well. Um, I'm a huge fighting strap guy. Haven't had the opportunity to have one of these made, but there's some loops down here and was able to fab one up um, with a uh, chin cup holder out of a mask and an extra skate lace. Um, 
But anyway, let's focus on kind of the video at hand. So inside, there's a pretty thick belly pad. Hopefully this comes through well in the video, but the belly pad probably extends out, you know, about an inch, inch and a half, and it is extremely soft and extremely supple and comfortable. So if you think about this chest area, which is one of the most important areas on the chest protector, on the front you have the curve composite, um, which is very strong and also gives the hot rebounds as well. Then you have the traditional um, block foam for the stomach. And then on the inside, you've got this nice, soft, comfortable layer. So you essentially have three layers and this layer closest to your body is very soft and comfortable. And then moving down, you can see we've got perforated foam and the mesh. So that'll be very, very breathable as well as uh, allow the unit to dry quickly. And then over here, um, we've got the rib protection and the hip protection. And this is also very soft and supple. And the material used inside here is Bauer's Thermal Core material. Uh, that's designed to keep players lightweight, um, very breathable, and also dry very quickly, keep players cool during use. So that's something that's on um, the 2X leg channel as well. I normally don't throw my gear around this much, but to hold the camera and use the chest protector at the same time is uh, a bit complicated actually. Um, so down here as well, um, we've got some Velcro pieces. So we have one on each side and one in the middle. So that is three total. Um, so that is Bauer's um, core extension system, which allows you if you're a shorter goalie or maybe you don't tuck and you don't want the overlap or maybe you do tuck and interfere with your cup, um, you can move these components either up, down or physically fully remove them. I've left them in the stock position. I have no issues. I have a Bauer Supreme jock and um, you know haven't found any issues. That's one thing I'll hint at ahead of the review. So haven't had any need to do that. And then you can see the front of these as well um, as Bauer's lightweight nylon. So one of my favorite features when I first saw the 1X and I'm really glad to see that Bauer has kept this over onto the 2X is the fast strap system. So basically every other chest protector on the market comes with elastic straps and then maybe it has a clip or does Velcro on the front. But my own two cents is that, um, especially if you're a goalie who tucks, and even if you're a goalie who doesn't, it's still pretty important to keep the middle body unit, um, like the abdomen section of your chest protector, in the middle of your body. And elastic wears out over time, that's life. And I think that chest protectors are probably the piece of gear that goalies keep the longest. So I don't really understand why manufacturers put elastic here because I feel like the middle of your body protection doesn't necessarily need to flex. You know, if you wear it loose, you still want it to be kind of loose and in the same position every time. And if you're like myself, um, I wear my unit as tight as I can. I want the chest protector portion of it to be as tight as my body. And then I tuck it inside my pants. So I'm a huge fan of the nylon strapping. And when I did a TGN spec on a Vaughn V6 Howard Pro return, I borrowed this design from Bauer and had it retrofit onto that unit. So I'm a huge fan of this, super easy to do. Um, just a tuck like that, as you can see on the phone, again, a little bit dis difficult, but got that all the way to within a couple inches, you know, when it started, um, you know, seven, eight inches. And then to undo the chest protector, you just pull this piece here and you can see it's already loosened up that much. So this is a super easy system to use and it works to get the unit very, very tight. And then again, as well, over the life of the chest protector, those nylon straps are gonna keep everything nice and secure. So kudos to Bauer for doing that. Um, I'm surprised we haven't seen more companies do that yet at retail. And again, I think it's such a good design. Um, as we move up in the unit, you can see that there are some Velcro pieces actually inside the chest protector here so that you can adjust um, the system itself and you know choose how high you want the shoulders and the back plate to interact. So as you can see, pretty easy to adjust and that's actually connected by an elastic as well. Um, this unit fits me perfect so I really don't actually want to change too too much but just showing the elastic. And this is one of those other subtle things. Um, oh, gotta try and get it to match that one that I think Bauer got so right on this unit. Um, I've used other units where they have Velcro. And one of my complaints is that over time, 
the Velcro can actually wear out a bit and taking the unit on or off in the locker room. Um, and that's what I'm referring to is some companies put the Velcro here onto the back and that's kind of a stress area when you're taking the unit on or off and you know, they Velcro them back here somewhere. And I found that those units can Velcro on or off over time. So that's another subtle thing like getting the nylon strapping right that I think it's fantastic. Um, the Bauer kind of hid the elastic down here, or excuse me, the Velcro down here, and then there's an elastic strap reinforcing it. So you have the full height adjustability where you can pull the Velcro way up or way down um, if you need to make your unit smaller. Again, and that's just as quick as doing this or that. However, with the elastic strap and being in the front of the unit, I don't think there's gonna be issues over time um, with the unit wearing out. And again, that goes back to this. Very easy to pull it tight. Very easy to pull it loose to take it off in the room. And being that this is a nylon webbing strap and not elastic, um, I'm anticipating that holding up really well. So those are two of the subtle features I think Bauer um, you know, had very well thought out in this unit. Time will tell if they hold up and if they work as I demo this unit more. But again, I think very well thought out in Bauer's part as well. Um, you've got an extra high pad here um, as well on the top of the forearm. You can see nice foam block there as well. So one of the features I couldn't actually initially tell if it was on the 2X or not based on the pictures we saw of Ottinger was the curved composite in the arm. And I thought that was one of the great features of the 1X just from a design standpoint, just because anytime chest protectors are really mobile, um, I think the cliche thing, and I won't name names, I think we can all guess who I'm referring to there, but you get arm stingers. You make the arms too lightweight and you get arm stingers. Now I'll be the first person to admit, if I get a stinger every now and again, as long as I'm not getting injured, it's not the end of the world. And I will take the trade off of mobility over the occasional arm stinger. But that doesn't mean that I'm giving companies a hall pass and that I don't want them to be working two design units that are mobile and flexible at the same time. How do you do that? You use high-end materials. So inside of this is Bauer's composite curve material is your outer shell there. So, um, and I did have one pretty good bomb. You can see right there already where the puck um, left a mark on the hexagon nylon there. So having the curve in there versus just the foams, again, just from a design standpoint, seems like a really great idea and glad to see Bauer did that. And then to increase the durability and give it a little bit more of a classic look, they've wrapped it with the nylon versus on the 1X, um, the carbon uh, curve composite material is fully exposed. So as we continue to take a look um, around the arm, we'll notice that Bauer has the arm branded Dynamic 3 Flex. And what this means is that this unit, this piece here is fully segmented. See how the arm is not connected there versus some units are like that, where there might be a third piece there. Bauer has actually taken that piece and put it underneath. So this piece here that I'm touching, that's a hard plastic piece and that is put underneath the foam arm floater. So if you do get pucks off the side of your arm, like in an RVH, deflection, that type of scenario, you have a really nice hard plastic plate there, um, but you still have the mobility because this unit isn't sewn. And as you can see, hard to demonstrate this in a video without trying it on. Um, you know, but the arms have very good flexibility out of the box, so that's very, very well done. One of my other pet peeves with chest protectors, which goes along to the back, and this is probably 50-50 depending on what brand you use. Some brands use uh, elastic strapping here, and then some use Gen Pro or nylon. I can't, again, quite understand why we want elastic there. I don't need my wrist to flex. If anything, I want to anchor this down, and I want my arm unit to stay in place. So very glad to see that this unit has a full 360 degree wrap around Gen Pro strap. Um, there's some lacing here, which isn't used out of the gate, but if you felt that the arms were too wide or anything, you could add a string um, to customize that. And then here, you can see and feel, um, there's a molded piece of plastic here for the elbow support. So the front of the arm, just to review, under the nylon, all curved composite, which is a um, uh, composite material, but it's like, you know, it's going to be hard like a plastic, same material used in the skate boots 
and they gave the blockers and the thigh rise, the pads, the hard rebound. We got the hard material here on the outside of the elbow. And then we have the hard material here um, on the back of the arm. And then the arm itself is complete, completely, um, it is sewn in right there, um, but it is unattached in the sense that you're gonna get um, good mobility in the elbow um, so that you can move your arm underneath there. And then with the last, you know, pretty unique feature, uh, another kind of well done thing by Bauer in terms of comfort, but got the hard cap and then just a little bit of extra soft padding on the back of it. This system here is the arm extension. So this is the only thing I adjusted on this unit out of the gate. I do have pretty long arms, um, 6'2". And when I first use it, didn't adjust anything. I wear an extra large and just about every chest protector I've ever used and never really had an issue. Um, you know, thinking arms were too long, but this, the first time I used it, it wasn't necessarily that I felt that the arms were too long per se. It just seemed like the elbow wasn't lining up um, with where my elbow was in my body. So to adjust these, um, there's just this, and again, I apologize, but like the shoulder floaters, it fits very dialed in right now and I still am in the middle of testing it. So I don't really wanna mess around too, too much. Um, but it just has one of these buckles where you press down and move it up and down to adjust the tightness. And then the back of this is sewn together um, and it's actually pretty good spacing between the shoulder and the pad there, fully covered um, by the shoulder cap. But why I bring this up and mention it slack is, um, you know, certain again comes back to philosophies like the wrist straps, but certain brands of chest protectors have the lace in arm and certain brands of chest protector have the sewn in arm with no adjustability. I hate not having adjustability for things like arms just because everybody's a different size and a different shape. So why would you have a one size fits all arm? And even if you go, oh, well, you could order a large with a medium arms or something. What if you need a medium and a half arm, you know, or a small large arm, if that makes sense, the, you know, the fame schmedium, something between a, a large and a medium. This gives you that flexibility. So you still have a little bit of the extra security with this sewn in, but then you also have the benefit of the lacing where, you know, if you're a shorter guy, you want shorter arms, you pull that tight, pull that clip down here, and that's gonna give you a short one. If you're a taller guy like me, you know, my laces sit out like that. And this is great because there's enough slack here that it basically feels like your arm is completely independent, but you do have a little bit extra security um, and adjustability with the clip too, because if you think about it, most of the units that come with the lace in arms, they're tied very hard and they don't use a skate lace here, which, you know, skate lace is nice and pliable. Um, it stretches a little, it gives a little bit, is that they use nylon lacing there. So when you tie your arms, normally when you get one of those units, they're tied like that close together. And then you've got to undo the knot and tie it together. Um, but with this system here, it's very easy and kind of, I think, encourages people to you know, play with this clip and adjust the arms in. So a new style of arm adjustability might seem a little silly. And I've probably just talked about this for like three minutes here. But the point I'm making is that this is actually, I think the first time I've seen a unit, you know, it's a hybrid between the sewn in arm and the lace in arm. And it's really the best of both worlds because I've never seen a lace in arm system that's so flexible. And then I've never seen a sewn in system that's flexible at all. And after I adjusted this a little bit, I think say it came set there, I moved it in about an inch, it's perfect. My elbow lines up right where I want it, but the arms still feel super loose. And again, that's been my complaint year over year of the sewn in arms as I've used those. And I always just feel like you reach out and make a, a glove save and some of those are out of position saves, um, you know, or really hamming it up with a windmill. That was a joke, but... Uh, you know, this material here can tug, and that's why I've always been a fan of the lace and arms over the sewn in. But again, this is really a hybrid um, feeling. You really don't notice the sewn in arms at all. So I think the last thing I didn't touch over as well um, is the neck system here. Normally something I'd skip over is the neck chest protector. Um, or the neck of the chest protector, excuse me, but this actually, I believe, uses Bauer's Quattro material, which is like a suede or a Nash. So this is a super comfortable piece of the chest protector here. Um, so it's another 
another unique detail on this chest protector. So just to kind of review where we're at, um, this is the Bauer 2X Pro chest protector. This is the you know elite level pro goalie, most protective model um, in the line. It's got the curved composite in the uh, chest plate and in the arms. It's got the hard plastic dynamic three flex um, floaters. It's got the Aerolite foam in the floaters. It's got the free flex edge. It's got the quattro neck. It's got the um, fast strap system in the back with the nylon strapping. It's got the thermal core liner unit. It's got the really nice uh, belly padding. It's got the core extension system with the three pieces down at the bottom as well. So that is the vapor chest protector. And one thing we'll kind of keep from last from here is there's a unique feature on this chest protector. It's something I plan to only do once for this video, but you can actually open up the floaters with the arrow light and see what's inside. So as we look, we can see there is some Velcro uh, right here on the Aerolite floaters. So as you can see opening up, um, we've got the lightweight perforated breathable foam. And then if we reach our fingers in the front here, um, you can feel that everywhere that there's a segment right here, um, there's a reinforced piece of, I believe it's a high density foam and then there's an extra removed material. And like I said, um, it's always very sensitive to destroy anything too much. I do use this here on the ice, so I'm not going to take that much further than that, but still pretty cool um, that with a Velcro strap, you can see the uh, internals of this chest protector. So this is, again, the Bauer 2X Pro chest protector. Um, stay tuned. We'll be doing a review. Uh, try to launch, you know, maybe three to four videos a month if you haven't figured that out. So please subscribe to my channel so you can stay tuned and see the reviews on this um, as well as some more feedback on the rest of the Bauer 2X Pro gear. Thanks for tuning in. This is the Goalnet signing out.